All right. So I somehow screwed up and actually let hunger heat eat reach zero percent, which is sad. And I will now correct that. More importantly, let's see where we stand once we have fed. Woof! There we go. All right. That looks like a fair chunk of power now, doesn't it? Let's see. We had a small patch, but nothing particular. I, I, the coolest thing is just that they put the divinity switch here. I like that. Um. All right. So. We just have to beat two. I don't think we have the oomph to do it. Don't think I have quite enough, but eh, we'll try. Holy shit, I did it! Wow, okay, I was stronger than I thought I was. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I see damage is being done. I think I can get one more. Yay. <laughs> sure. Cool. All right, then. We are done. Finally. And I can go back to... Uh, mm. Well, let's not rain on my own parade here. I think I'll spend a small amount of time scaling down... Well, We'll see how much, uh, what do you need? What is there a red exclamation point still? Oh, well. Oh my gosh, this is so tedious. Sorry, we're almost done here. By which I mean less than halfway. Uh, anyway, um... I'm thinking I might spend a little bit of time, um... Scaling back down. Maybe a day. If even that long, probably probably half a day. I'm gonna go to bed, so you know when I get up, I'll get started on that. But um, yeah. I'm actually thinking about focusing on the Thunderball at the moment. I've still got I, I've been using letting the armadillo be in the growth campaigns, but I'm thinking of just uh, working on the Thunderball. He has a really good growth if he becomes an adventurer, and basically everyone in my uh, growth campaigns is at all. They're they're like at either eighty thousand or seventy nine thousand, so it's like it's basically right there. So I can just throw him in. The only thing is, I'd have to take the robot out because he can't be in the same campaign as a robot. And when he finally evolves, I. Not entirely sure what to do with my robot. I guess I'd turn him into a blacksmith or something. Because, uh. Because, because once this thing evolves, it's definitely going to want to be in the growth campaigns. Once it starts getting some real levels under its belt. So, uh, Gundam over here. Really, the only reason he's an adventurer is because of that plus 100 growth rate. This one's got a plus 80, and just, it's got, yeah. But do I really need another blacksmith? Honestly, no. I really don't need another blacksmith, presently. So, uh, I need alchemists. <laughs> I could make him an alchemist. I was actually really seriously thinking about um, this little rat over here. Problem is, he gives me a 99% steal chance. Like, 99% more loot, I should say. And that's amazing. I mean, it's not as good as the other thieves that I've got. But, uh, you know still pretty good. It's a lot better than what I'd get if I put the bird in. But the bigger problem... Here, hold on. Let me go ahead and... Oh, wait. Okay, we have two more minutes. But, uh... 
the bigger problem is that the bird would be level 1. Whereas this mouse here, you can see, is level 110. And turning this mouse into an alchemist, he wouldn't be able to use his 110 levels. And sooner or later, there's going to be something, whether it's a fourth floor or new dungeons or whatever it's going to be, something is going to show up, and I'm going to want high-level pets, not low-level pets. So I find myself wondering what exactly I'm going to do here. Because I could swap in the goat if I did another token as a thief who would theoretically become a better thief. I like it in the item camps very, very much, but, you know, I could make this thing the rogue and then, um, what level are you? Level 29. I think it would be a better rogue than the mouse, straight up. And then I would have another alchemist. A pretty decent one, given his level. And... I'd get a little bit less items when running item camps, which I'm not going to be doing for the next... Uh, 27 days, not full 12 hour runs at least. So, you know, it, it seems like it's kind of a good idea, but, but once again, we run into the problem that this thing would be level nothing. He's level 29. I don't know. I'm seriously considering it. Goodness knows I have enough stones to get away with it. But, uh... I just don't know. I just don't know. I want more alchemists. I do. I would love to have somebody... I've got uh, wood, fire, and ore right now. I would love to get the last two elements in. Feathers and ice. Just because then I'd be producing all five constantly. Um... Oh, you can see I, for the moment, turned off uh, Potion S. That's just because I have uh, more of it than anything else. Well, other than the base. And I was just like, ah. I'd also like, I would really love to have a set of pets, a set of alchemists doing everything all the time. Like ginger, holy water, antidotes. You know, just, just everything. That's... Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I would love it if it could. I don't know. I have a few other candidates I could turn into alchemists. Uh, this assassin here is not a very good assassin. Cupid is become superfluous because I have so many adventurers. Uh, unless unless something changes, I just don't need more adventurers right now. Um, unless there comes to be new campaigns, or I start being able to put uh, more pets in a campaign, or do two growth campaigns at the same time or something, I have no idea. Someday, if he keeps introducing pets all the time, there'll be something, I'm sure, but for now... I just don't know. Anyway. I'm not waiting. It would just kick my ass. I think it's time to rebirth. Ah. Uh, it's just kind of a shame throwing away such a lovely divinity generator. Ah, if this were NGU Idol, I'd have those banks. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. <clears throat> I'm just throwing these down. No reason. There's no spread button on these. There you go. Okay. Oh, yes. And all of this crap. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> More than 10% boost. So, where is... Oh, 
but it's up here with the yeah okay yeah that makes sense I wonder what level the next one's gonna demand the, the pea balls hmm Ninety thousand. That's actually not so far afield of where we are right now. <laughs> this is still going. Okay. Yes. Anyway, now I'm gonna go to bed, and tomorrow I will try to milk things. Uh, I think fifty thousand is plenty. I think I will start trying to make light clones because you know why not. Seems like a good thing to do. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Yes, of course. There we go. Whoa. That red text is new. I don't know if I care for it much. <laughs> oh, fine. Remove spread. There. Consolidation. Eh, close enough. I think from here it'll be like clones. Yeah. That would make sense, right? I think so. I don't know if I like that red text. I mean, it certainly grabs the attention, which is what it's meant to do, but... But, ow! Oh, the aesthetics of it! Alright, anyway. Ah, I had a pretty good streak of doing one of these challenges every single day, but I finally screwed up. Messed everything up, so I'm basically going to lose a day out of it in the end. That's just how it goes. <coughs> it's like, oh no, you only missed a few hours, but once you get things offset with your sleep cycle and stuff, it just doesn't, you, you can't correct. You can't correct. I even managed to set a new record at some point. As we can see here, I got it to less than 21 and a half hours. Pretty good, huh? And I know I could push it even further, potentially, but I have no reason to. There's no reason to try to make the fastest runs possible, even if that would be interesting. There's just no no reward, no prize, so, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Right, right, so I have challenge points to spend. Specifically, it's time to finally get autofill dungeon items. Yes! It is done. At last, we can go and we can adjust all of our stuff. Uh, first, let me look around here. <clears throat> so this one, I actually don't know how many times I can buy this one exactly. Well, they're 500 points apiece. I could get some extra challenge dungeon tries to build up a bank in that if I wanted. Uh, which is, you know, I mean, it would be nice, but... <clears throat> Honestly, of the stuff here, this is too expensive. I think I'm going to go with the Space Dim Speed Boosts. I have no reason to buy them yet, but I, th you know, so I might as well just wait until I'm finished with these challenges. Oh, come on. Go go away. Okay. Yeah, we've got nine more to complete, and I'm already most of the way through this one. So we'll be done with this soon, and then we can complete a couple of these, and that'll give us more challenge points. Hmm. What will I do next, I wonder? But, yeah. Yeah. We'll probably end up going with the Space Dim Speed Boost. That would probably be the best, best choice. Oh my gosh, I can auto-fill now. Oh, well, I mean, I can't adjust them right now, but I'm going to 
fuss with all of this. So, I literally have nothing in the way of phoenix feathers, unfortunately. Those five are literally all of them. A pity. I need a crap ton of them, but I've not been running the volcano. So, nothing there right now. Anyway, I'll sort all this stuff out and uh, make everything perfect. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, we're going to need more phoenix feathers. On the other hand, we have lots of elixirs now. Check this out. I got 49 of these. I've been making special wood. Um, I've been doing a lot of things. So you can see I've got a crap ton of these. I ran out at one point, and that was like, oh, crap. I can't. I, I got a good store of these, but it is going down slowly. You can see over here. So when we look at the actual... Uh, well, here's, here's what I'm doing. I'm making two ore... A firestone and a wood and then I make some special wood and elixirs and health potions and sacred stones um, so if we look at our inventory here you can kind of see how things are so much of this is triple s plus 20 it's 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 amazing I do have some stuff I need to equip right now should probably boost that there so the firestones, those I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do with fire. I have, uh, I've actually got a couple more sticks I'm boosting up here uh, right now. I have an enormous amount of work to do with iron. <clears throat> I need so much iron ore. And uh, finally, I just made a new set of wood items because I have um, I have plenty of magical wood lying around, so I decided, hey, we'll make one more set of this. It'll come in handy to have some spare equipment. Water pretty much just needs uh, reforgings. That's pretty much all that's left in that department. Uh, I've got these Ego Swords. Actually, they're both finished now. It's pretty much just those. Let me check these guys. The crow and... What's going on? Back. Oh, excellent. Good work. I should probably think about making these into magical hammers. Hmm. For now, I'm just going to do this. Uh, okay. Right, the crow and the armadillo. So you have an ego sword, very good. And you have, oh, that's wrong. Where's the other ego sword? Who the hell has my ego sword? Oh, hey, look at you, you need something. There you go. There, that gives me a nice little boost to my uh, creation speed which doesn't matter at this time while I'm in these challenges, but, you know, you take what you can get. What the? Here's a chest. You can equip something. Boy, I've got such nice things lying around. I guess I'll give you this Inferno sword. I guess. Where's that other ego sword? Oh my gosh, where the hell is it? Oh, 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 you have it! Could I just give you this? No? Okay. Yeah, I gotta go through everyone's equipment and sort that out, as well as go through the dungeon stuff. So, I guess that's gonna be my next project. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> yeah, basically when I'm doing these um, challenges, I basically have two and a half hours of slack. 
That's how much I can screw up in a day. I can be two and a half hours wrong, where I just don't check when I'm supposed to, or... Uh, honestly, <clears throat> I, I, I need to come to the computer every three hours and 12 minutes the way I do things, because I do, you know, full campaign runs here on Tier 2. And I basically have to keep doing that all day. And it's... Mm, I lose a lot of time. I lose a lot of time. I could be campaigning, you know, or dungeoning or whatever. A, a lot of time is just is just kind of seeps out when I'm at work or I'm doing different things and I just don't get to it for whatever reason. Or I take a nap or sleep at any point. <clears throat> Anything. And it's actually a super pain in the ass. I really wish I could automate more of this game. Or at the very least... If I could have used the bonuses from here, they're not that big, but they'd have cut me a little bit more slack, and it would have been nice. It would have been nice. I think I've got, like, what, plus, a, after a certain number of hours, it becomes plus 100%, plus 100%, and then, like, these are 10%. Like, it's not that big a deal, but... You know, it adds up. It helps. I really don't know why this is locked. I honestly do not understand why this is locked. Um. I don't know. Everything's arbitrary anyway, right? I can understand it for the arty challenge. It's not going to be locked on this one. It's literally just for the clone buildup and UBC. But the clone buildup challenge, it doesn't matter if you have it, because the clone buildup challenge tends to do short runs. For the most part. Like, this really isn't going to help with the clone buildup challenge, particularly. It really wouldn't. So that pretty much just means the only reason this is locked is to slow down the UBCs. But why would you want to slow down the UBCs? If somebody hasn't completed their UBCs, like me, and has somehow managed to unlock this and get decent numbers on it, well, I don't know if my numbers are decent, but something, why would you lock it? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> we'll continue... We'll continue. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, finally! We're almost there. Alright, so... It is time that I can finally do the final UBC. Now, of course, I won't be getting any more P-Ball power reduction, thanks to the UACs. You know, you're not getting any of that from it. So, the big reward is non-existent but I'll still be gaining challenge points which uh, you know when you complete the last one the last in a category you get a whole big old pile of them so you know there is that but uh, yeah you can see it here this one is worth 650 challenge points so you know there's that but far, far more importantly is that I'll finally get this out of here. This category will be clear. This entire category will just be a blank. Finally be done with you. So, you know, that. Then maybe we'll clear out these, or maybe we'll do some overflows for a break, or maybe we'll do some days. Who knows what we'll do. <sighs> I'm going to have close to a thousand points I can just dump anywhere I feel like. I'm kind of thinking of just pushing it all into space dim speed boost still. Seems, seems good. Yeah, we burned up just about everything we had for chakra stuff. I don't even mind. I don't mind one bit. It was necessary. So, anyway. Yeah. 
Let's just grab one more spin, which of course makes the TBS a little bit better. Each time I hit rebirth, the TBS grows. Not that it matters in any way, shape, or form in this case, but you know, whatever. It really doesn't help. So, basically, the only thing that was important with these was that I could do them within 24 hours. I was able to, at some point, do one. I think I've talked about this already. For me, the, it's been a while since I recorded. Anyway, my fastest was just 21 hours and 13 minutes. I could go faster, but I have no reason to. No, um, bah. No, what it's about is just getting them within 24 hours. Anytime I'd miss one, it would be bad. I'd end up losing a day in the end. Um, but yeah, getting them within 24 hours could be a pain in the ass sometimes. More than a few times I had to stay up later and stuff. But I have been through this punishment between the UBCs and the and and the CBCs it's been probably three months since I've gotten to just you know, I've been wanting to play this game but I've not been able to play this game because I've been running the the, the stupid the, the stupid GP reset challenges 50 of them that's way excessive I think 10 would have been a reasonable number 20 would have been a lot kind of feel the same way about the CBCs. Ah, anyway, we're finally done. So I'm just going to give a rundown of how it goes. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you how it goes. All right. First rebirth. You set this to 200. You're just trying to get your pets strong enough so that you can leave them overnight. Now in this case, I guess this run would have taken me about 23 hours-ish, so I'll be able to put them on a nine hour thing overnight, which is what you want. You really want a 23 hour want run because you want to set it up an hour before you go to bed, nine hours, that way you get all the feedings. This is built around feedings and stuff like that. Like you're not it's trying to, it's, it is actually focused uh, more on the pets than anything else. So always it's about three hour and 12 minute runs. I say that. Um, it's, uh, the, the second run is generally is closer to four hours because of just the way things end up going. So the pets in the dungeon, doesn't matter how long they spend fighting. So you can just dump them in. So... I have a party that goes to depth three here. Okay. Deep sea treasure for GP. This one I set to depth one for the cursed chests because they're not strong enough and th there isn't any GP here anyway. So put them there. They, they, they can do, these will all be doing depth twos after this, but the first nine hour run each day. Um, Depth three again, and then this one's just a depth two, because this one doesn't really matter. Um, this is this is just how I've been doing it. Three one three two, and then the rest of the day, three hour twelve minute runs at depth two across the board. Um, but that first nine hour run, you want that you know it's not a ton of GP, but every little bit of GP helps. But that's not where you get most of your GP from. Most of it comes from here. It's about 150. When I get up in the morning, I can show it. Um, after that, so, so that's your first run, nine hours. In, on a good run, you'll get 200 GP. Most of the time, you won't quite get that much. So what you do with it, oh, you have to do this every time. You have to remember to, to set this however you want to set it. I usually just do a 60-40 split. 
Um, anyway. So, you've got zero GP, you go through in nine hours, we'll see how much I got this time. And I'll show my f f purchases at that point. But generally, I buy... Generally, I go for fifty to sixty thousand, depending on how much GP I get. I'll settle for fifty thousand a lot, but I'm happy when I can make it sixty thousand. And then I'll use three GP um, a shot till I can get my max clone, my up to a soft cap of uh, ninety-nine thousand ish, ninety-seven thousand ish. It doesn't have to be exact. Anywhere in that range is fine. Uh, then, th so that's the first three and a half hour run. That run doesn't get to build monuments. I mean, it could make like a statue, but it doesn't help really. So, the run after that needs to either be, you need to either make continents or weather. If you can make continents or weather, uh, whichever one you're able to, you go with the monuments and you're just trying to build up your bases. The fourth run same thing you definitely weather i ignore um the statues and mystic gardens and just go 100 percent togs uh on that run like as soon as i'm able to get to get the weather you know i just i just do that um and then the final run the, the final run you need to be where there's four four enemies left on the uh, list you need to be at Amaratsu. You haven't beaten Amaratsu left. That's the last the last run that you do. You can beat these four all in one run. And that run, you ignore Togs completely and just do nothing but statues and gardens. Um, I've been pretty consistent with this. There's all the crystals you can get, all the crystal power you can get your hands on. Um... Yeah, three hour, 12 minute runs. That's generally how it goes. And then you just set up for the next day. Yeah. So I'll talk about it a little more in the morning, but I'll probably be pretty tired because I'll have to get ready for work and stuff. But I can at least show the first, the most important round of purchases. You actually don't get to your full soft cap until the third run. The first run, you just got a thousand clones. The second run, you'll have almost a hundred thousand. Um, and the third run, you'll actually be maxed at either 150 or 160, depending on how many you purchased. So I hope I'm making sense. It's late. Ugh, I'm so glad I'm going to be done with this, 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 this punishment. Oh. Crap. Important things. Pandora's box does not get to be on the growth campaign as much as I wish it could be. No, I must have it elsewhere. So I maxed, I, I was using this for a long time, but it's, you know what, it's fine. It can go in there. Um, it won't do much, but hey, it's in there. No, that's stupid. Uh, I'll swap it out for Cupid. He's at least got a uh, good item with him. All right, fine. He'll get a boost. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm. I I just recently got to the box to where I couldn't put him in the growth campaigns anymore. Really. So this is the GP campaign. This is the important one. Um. Not sure what I've done that he didn't automatically pop in, but you know what? Whatever. There. All right. As I said, it's late. I am tired. The important thing is that the box is in the GP one, as is the nightmare. And every single person in this set has a magic walking stick that gives them plus 50% boost to all campaigns from equip. Every single one of them. And they're pretty much all adventurers as well. I mean, okay, not all of them, but most of them are adventurers. Very nearly all of them. So that helps as well. So that will bring back a crap ton of GP. 
that's the big GP run. And they'll be doing three-hour GP runs, you know, well, except for the box. The box can go and grow. The first run is the most important run. The rest of the day, Pandora's box can be up here. And uh, this can just be, you know, a three-hour run of just, just ten guys. Ten, ten very good GP hunters like these. Yeah. But the box must be in that first run. I tried to... It's... It's... It's possible, but it's a pain in the ass. And as I've said, if you screw up, it... Uh, you find yourself staying awake for an hour or something trying to, to finish a run. It's just awful. So better to just put it here and, you know, be more comfortable, I find. Also on this first run... It's not necessary, but it's good to just let these creations fill in. I think it helps, but it's it's not an essential. There's a lot of little things you can do that optimize, but they don't optimize enough to matter. Um, technically, having, having the Ball Slayer here should help your first run, but it really doesn't. It, it, it's really not going to get you another another knockout, so it doesn't end up mattering at all. And there's, there's a lot of little optimizations that turn out to just kind of not matter. Like, yeah, technically, if I were really pushing to be as fast as possible, when you're trying to do, uh, you know, just one run a day, it, it doesn't matter. If you finish a little bit earlier, this could be a 10-hour run or an 11-hour run here. Um, but most of the time, I'm comfortable with a 9-hour run. Uh, an 8-hour run, you know you you know the feedings are every 3 hours, and you really want, want to maximize feedings, maximize campaign and dungeon time. It's unfortunate that one of your dungeons is running at depth 1, and then all the rest of the time, you're running at depth 2 on everything. Um, I figure once I finish this, I'm going to spend time going over all my gear and everything. I might strip all the gear off of every pet and just reassemble new teams and stuff. Try to, try to figure out how to get all four to be at depth 3. If that's possible. We've had a lot of crafting done. Like, an absurd amount of crafting has been done during the last couple of months while I was getting through all of these stupid challenges. We've also got stacks of elixirs. And we've burned up all of our phoenix feathers. Seriously, those five, that's all the phoenix feathers I have left because I haven't been running Volcano. So, you know, I gotta start running Volcano again. Mmm... It's going to be interesting. But now that I've got the auto-refill thing, that's going to be nice. Oh, shit. Now look at that. I only have nine flying boots? Now that's just unacceptable. Where's my flying boots? What? What? what where are they? Excuse me. Could I have some flying boots, please? Okay, here we go. There we go. That's more than you can use in a run. Great. Excellent. <sighs> I suppose I didn't really need to do that, but you know what? We'll sort all the stuff out. I'll use them eventually anyway. Goodness knows I have enough pet stones lying around. How many class change tokens do I have? You have one class change token. I might also be using those. I might even uh, uh, using that and maybe even invest in another one. I would definitely like more alchemists. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <sighs> anyway. That's the way things be. Oh, right. Something that is actually more helpful. You want this. It's a little bit, but hey, that's a little bit. Every little bit helps, right? 
I know what I just said about <laughs> about small things that don't actually matter, but you want to keep your, boosting your might bonus on each of these runs as much as you can. The second run, since you can't build monuments during it, tends to be the, the best might, might boost. Anyway, that is all. Alright, so I just collected... Well, we still got this one. But I just collected the rest. And it's 183 so far. So let's go ahead and... One, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and take six. So... We just want to get that number up. Uh, might as well. Might as well get all of these to finish really quick. <laughs> Boop. Eh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. Eh, Twenty-two percent. It's it's uh, it's not nothing. Okay, Cl clunk. Hmm. All right, let's see if we got a little bit more here. Seventeen more GP. Well, it's something, and as I said before, every little bit helps. So, all we want to do. Is a dis. Oops, whatever, it's fine. Close enough. Close enough. Unleash. Okay, everything seems to be pretty much alright. We feed our pets. Look at that. Alright. Rebirth. Clunk. So this run, we can get to 159,999 clones. That is the goal. So we ignored monster fighting the first time, and we could completely ignore it this time, honestly. It doesn't really do anything, but when you've got, when you've got almost 100,000 clones, you don't really sweat, you know, 30-something of them. You're like, eh, whatever. But, we no longer need to have this at 200. Now we can do this manually. Since it doesn't matter what level the guys in the dungeons are, you could theoretically squeeze slightly more out by being on depth one there, but I don't. I had tried to do depth three, and to my frustration... I discovered that Rebirth Bacon does not work during this challenge. I do not know why. There's a lot of things that are just locked down in this challenge for seemingly no reason. I probably wouldn't mind if I hadn't had to do it 50 times in a row. But, you know, having to do it so freaking many times, you're constantly asking, Why is this turned off? Why is that turned off? Oh, if I could just use these things. Why are they even turned off? I mean, I get it. I, I understand exactly why they're turned off. Uh, for, for the lucky draws. Except that I'm required to do 50 of these. 50 of them. And it's like... Ugh, you have these effectively turned off for like a couple of months. Set that up. Uh, if I am paying attention, I'll stop at 3,000 and move on. Actually, I could just set it to that if I wanted to, but it's it doesn't matter. I know I keep saying that, but it really doesn't. It really doesn't matter if you, if you even make a monument or not, because you'll only get one statue, and it won't make a difference. So, 
So anyway, looks like we're good to go. Now the box can be up there because even though we're continuing to push GP and not gathering items, well, we can run this. I did put them on item last night, right? I didn't put them on divinity, did I? I, I do a nine hour item run. I don't remember now. <laughs> it was late. You're supposed to put them on, on an item run for nine hours because divinity does nothing. And Divinity does nothing this run because, again, I'm not going to get to Neph this. Well, actually, I will beat Neph this on the second run, but it, do it doesn't matter. You're going to rebirth immediately at that point. So, you can put the 97,000 here and gather some Power Surge. As long as you remember to switch over to uh, this. This is the more important one. After an hour and a half. And it's very easy to forget. It's very easy to forget. This is the one you actually want. Although, you can get by with... You can make... You can get by with a certain amount of mistakes. Ugh. Also, for anybody who's tracking these things, I've completed pretty much every single thing possible that would make this easier. There's really nothing left. <sighs> anyway. And... That's pretty much it for three hours. Aside from uh, reassigning these clones in an hour and a half. There's not even a reason to buy build speed yet. Although, I will definitely be buying as much build speed as I can. While being careful, you always want to keep like 10 GP on hand. Or 20, 10 to 20 range. To buy clones. Because whenever you're fighting these. To get your uh, crystal power and your divinity out of them. Uh, starting with the third run. You always need to have 10 to 20 GP on hand just so that you can afford to do that. Somewhere in that range. Because there's really no way to gain GP until your next shipment comes in. So if you run out and you're waiting, like that's it. You're just, you're out. You're not going to beat enough of these guys. Well, sometimes, anyway. It's, it's... You just want to be careful of that number. That's that's an easy way to mess things up. <sighs> this helps a little bit. That's the only thing in there that helps at all. <laughs> but it helps a little bit. A little bit. I don't know exactly how much. Probably not enough to make a difference. But I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. Anyway. Alright. Let's end it. The final run clocks in at close to 23-ish. Which is fine. <sighs> but ump. First, equip all. Step two, crush. Step three, insurance. That was unnecessary. Entirely and I knew all along. Anyway. I wonder when the rest of them are going to get their names stuck on there. No, oh, must not be. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Whatever. It's fine. We're done. We're done. We're done. No challenges available! Success! This is what success looks like. This is what all of you aspire to someday see. Yes, now I've really made it in the world. So usually after I complete one, until I'm ready to start the next one with that leftover hour or so, 
or in this case 30 minutes. Uh, I usually just dump all the clones into attack plus. Uh, I usually boost uh, boost this a bit so that I have the creations as well and just try to knock out some of these for some extra GP. We are at 37,000 GP. Oh my gosh, it's celebration time. Oh my gosh, let's start the celebration with our 960 challenge points. Not quite a thousand. Shame. Oh well. Space Dim Speed Boost. Yes. Yes. More. 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 <laughs> okay. I will be one short of having a full set on that, but that's okay. We'll get that pretty soon, I think. Oh, that will make the Space Dim Challenges just a little bit easier. Gathering the Light Clones to make the Space Dim Challenges uh, easier is also going to be... Well, I mean, look at this. I cut the power of P-Balls in half. How powerful do you think I am now? <sighs> Boy. All right, we must continue. We haven't celebrated enough yet. What should we do now? I think I should open 50 of these. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's the usual stuff, but hey, there's chocolate in there. There's status for all my pets. There's um, some divinity. I didn't see 300,000 stones appear, but, you know, who cares <laughs> about pet stones at this point? Okay. Who cares about efficiency anymore? I've completed them. I've done them. Okay. Uh, now for something big. My creation count is currently at... Where is it? There it is. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! We now have a base of 2,000. My goodness. That's huge. What do I do with my GP now? What do I do with my GP now? Change my name! No. Change my name. A hundred, two, <laughs> five hundred, six hundred times. No. Ah. Uh, you know, I bet for some reason that would be a stream that would get more views than anything else if it was just literally me changing my name 600 times and going, my name is 1, my name is 2, my name is 3, my name is... Four. Yeah, that sounds like something that would succeed on YouTube. Too bad I'm not doing it! <laughs> okay. All right. So, do I want to increase my build speed or my creation speed? Or do I want more shadow clones? Is 50 million really enough shadow clones for me? I mean, obviously not. I need way more than that. Uh, 25. Hmm. Hmm. I could go to 55 million right now. <sighs> boy, oh boy. All right. Blah. We're, we've done it. We've done it, boys. Success. Urgh. Urgh. <laughs> okay. So once I've collected my, my uh, reward from these campaigns and dungeons... I'll never have to do another reset, GP. Oh. Man, this is just starting to sink in. It's finally done. I do want to do the day challenges. I bet I could do really good at them now. I do want to do a big-ass road to infinity. Hmm. <sighs> The no rebirth challenges might be the smartest one. 
the No Rebirth Challenges might be my best pick. Or I could try climbing to the highest P-Ball possible. You know what I should be doing? Okay, alright, I know where to refocus my efforts. Pet Evolutions. So first off, we have the box, which demands that I defeat P-Ball 66 in a Day Ball Challenge. I think I can do that? Yes. Yes, I think I can do that. And I don't mind trying. So... That one will be our first target. Now, for the other evolutions, they're a little bit more complicated. You, well, you need to invite me to get up to 90,000, but also, I have to defeat an evolved Balrog. Okay, well, we have some time, because like I said, None of my pets are at 90,000 yet, except, of course, for uh, Undyne. So, hmm. So we can ignore you for the time being and focus on... What do you want? Hmm. I have 64 UB4 points. I need 1,000. Now, that seems like a long-term goal. I can definitely start focusing on that. I'll want to make a whole bunch of light clones and probably do the space dim challenges. That's probably going to be the keys to this. And maybe increasing my shadow clone count as well. Couldn't hurt. All right. That's going to that's going to be a focus, a long-term focus. Uh you just want mimic points, a lot of mimic points. You're not anywhere in the realm of possibility right now, so I don't even need to think about you. How big is Undyne these days? Respectable 108 uh, million. No, wait, that's... No, 108,000, sorry. 108,000, that makes more sense. Yeah, so this this is nowhere near the realm of possibility at this time. So don't need to think about the seed. Who else? It's just a Thunderbolt, right? I think so. And you're going to look really cool. And I've got 80,000 possible. So I'm going to put this one. You're in the growth campaigns now. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Growth campaigns for this one. This one is inevitable now. Okay, that is way too much, clones. Okay, you're done. Put it all on that. Alright, so we're going to put this in the growth campaigns. Definitely, that's important. We are going to... Try to focus on killing mimics. I'll... I'll I'm going to be taking apart all my pet... Pet dungeons, as I mentioned earlier... We're going to focus on V4. I think V4 is going to be the main goal. But we're going to do a day challenge first. I'll probably start it in the morning. So I'll try to just do something that will take me six hours or less. And the Balrog, I don't know. It's going to be a little while. I don't need to worry about him just yet. Because his he needs 90,000, he's going to be like, I'll just have to... Yeah, I'm sure I can get a group that can handle D3 Volcano, difficulty 10, by the time he, I reach the 90,000 threshold for him. Probably. Maybe. I think. We shall see. Oh my gosh, this is the highest creation count ever. You know what I really want to do? I want to do no divinity challenges. Oh, I bet it'll be epic. But no. No. Not yet. Let's evolve the box first. So what happens when I do evolve you? Well, you wish to be an adventurer, and you get 0 0.9 times class level added. 
and I don't even see the box doesn't even open. So, um, I mean, it's not bad, but I would have preferred if it just read 10% to everybody in the campaign or something, you know, to kind of go with what it already does. Oh, well, it'll be good. It's always good. Uh, Adventurer is my favorite class after all. That's why I have so many of them. Yeah, I'm going to rethink everybody who's doing the adventures. I'm going to be thinking about what we're putting on here. And I might very well unrogue the mouse for more alchemy. Alchemy! Yeah. Hmm. Need more materials. Need more potions. I really would, am thinking seriously about making a pet just start making phoenix feathers so that I have them. I haven't had any in a long time. I know I could get them just by running volcanoes, and I will run volcanoes, but... He's probably... They're probably going to introduce a new dungeon to the game soon, and I won't have... Uh... I don't have the ability to tackle it if I don't think about this. This is still the strongest team. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's finally over the torture. I'm sorry. I just. Ah. Oh, I can play the game again. <laughs> I can make decisions, make choices, do things. Mmm. All right then. I'm gonna take two million. No. I'm gonna take two million off of you. Oh man, now that it's level sixty, this is like, oh yeah, sure, this will take hours. Ugh. I reclaim all of you. And I make all of you do this. All right, anyway. Uh, what will I do overnight? Sorry, it's eight, nine, ten hours. There's nothing I can do in that short a span of time, is there? Is there? I could try. No, I don't know. I'll try the, the day ball challenge tomorrow, and we'll see how I do. Pretty good, I should hope. Oh, yeah. Let me fix something. Hold up. Of course. <clears throat> oh, hey, look. All these numbers appeared. Like magic. I'll take that back now. All right. I could add more pets. I just don't really have any pets interested in doing it right now. Or do I? What are you doing, Mr. Support? You're just sitting around with a perfectly good ego sword not in use. Hmm. Well, for the moment. Oh, wait, no, my permanent levels suck. Never mind. Oh, 25,000 from each boost. Oh, not just 25,000, but you have to have 25,000 on every single one of them. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a while. Well, okay, then. Well, I don't know what to do with you. Oh, well. 